Hi, it's Miss Wall, the yearbook teacher. Um, I'm going to talk about yearbook themes today and kind of walk you through how to pick a good theme and what to look for and what you need to be, if you're an advisor, what you need to be advising your students on, if you're a student, what you need to be considering. So here it goes. Okay, I'm gonna use this first one as an example and then I'll show you some others. Um, this is our book of this year. Okay, so first thing I teach my students is you have to pick out a tone. Okay, so a tone is the feel of the book. It's kind of like your first impression and the emotions that you get. So this year's group really wanted a fun tone. Okay, they wanted something to feel happy, to upbeat, to make you feel excited. So they picked colors, they picked a design, and they picked a theme around that tone. Okay, so some other tones to consider. Um, two years ago, it was all in. And this was a kind of what I call collegiate tone or a school tone, school spirit. Um, our colors are red and gold, so it was a very clean look. It had a lot to do with school mascots and school things inside. So that's what I call kind of a school theme. Um, another tone that we have, this one would be another like happier fun tone. Uh, this one, the blueprint was a more serious tone. Okay, so you get a book like the blueprint and you're going to feel um, like it's a very serious, formal, kind of clean looking book, okay? And I know that before I even open it. Um, another tone idea is one that reflects a popular musician, a popular show, a popular um, song, something like that. So we had Raider Things instead of Stranger Things and that was our, our tone was to be like the show. Okay, another tone we had was um, 2020 vision. And again, that's kind of a serious tone. So generally you have what I call like a clean look serious. You have school spirit. Oh, let me grab this book. You have a fun or happy light hearted kind of tone. Um, another tone, I don't have an example on my wall right now is kind of an earthy tone. So those are ones that have lots of greens and browns and tans and they feel very natural. Sometimes there's like twine in there somewhere on the designs, um, but kind of an earthy tone that goes with it. Okay, so now that you picked out the tone you want, um, you can talk about, there's two types of themes, okay? You have what's called the word theme and you have the visual theme, okay? So for us, the word theme was Raider Rewind, okay? Our visual theme is these colors and these kind of striped pattern, okay? So Raider Rewind needs to carry throughout the entire book in your titles, in the copy that you're writing, and what you're saying. The visual theme also needs to carry throughout the book. Um, and this is done in the pictures, in the graphics, and we'll look at the inside in just a sec. Okay, in addition, we had a little folio this year, which is something that repeats. So these two little triangles, way back in the day when you had like VCRs, represented rewind, okay? And so we repeated that element throughout our book. And you'll see it in the corner on almost every page. Okay, so this is our cover page. They wanted it to look very, um, I don't know why it's smudge looking there, but they wanted it to look almost a bit like Netflix and that you have the rewind, this was 20, year 22, 23, so that's why we have that. Uh, but then the little graphics at the bottom and everything kind of reflect a uh, Netflix kind of feel to it, okay? Uh, but you'll see the visual theme first off in the colors on the spine, okay? So every page is gonna have a bar based on which section it is, and those bars are going to be the same colors as this. So that kind of stripey color repetition you'll find throughout the book. Um, okay, uh, the first page again has kind of that Netflix feel. It'll talk you through what's popular now and then even little details about overview, semesters, more like this. Um, so we've, we've made it into a book look, but um, we've still kept some of the original, recently added my list search option. Okay, this is the, um, sorry, theme page. So what I kind of teach my students, and you can vary up the order, is there is the opening page, or the title page, sorry. Um, 
end sheet where people sign their names, so don't go crazy here. People need to sign their names. Title page that has the title, name of the school, and all the information. Um, table of contents, which is sometimes its own page, sometimes it's done on one of the others. And then you have a theme page. So theme page is where you really introduce the theme. You normally have a little paragraph explaining the theme. Um, and then it'll take you into the first section divider from there. Okay, and we'll carry this out their book. You'll see like this is page six of 276, um, which goes with page six. Um, and it's kind of walking you through like it's a show. Okay, so you'll notice though, when we picked out the colors, when we picked out the fonts, uh, these are fun looking fonts. They wanted it to kind of have a retro feel. So when you're picking out fonts, you want a couple decorative fonts that really stand out. You want a um, serif font, sans serif, and script normally. So we kind of used some of these fonts interchangeably, but you'll notice our fonts are fun feeling because our tone of our book is fun feeling. Okay, so we have the tone that carries throughout, we have the words, um, and we have the look and feel. So you'll see, this was done very uh, Raider Rewind as you're looking back on it, okay? So we were thinking years from now when someone opens the book, um, they will want to rekindle the energy, rediscover your memories, re-enter middle school, rewind the year. So it was done with the perspective of someone later looking back on this book, okay? Rewinding and looking into it. Um, so you'll see all the things are written like the pages in the book. Um, the sections are the year in review. And then we have the sports we played is another section divider. Let me get to it. The sports we played. So it's done in a very specific way that we've written um, the kids we were is our lifestyle section. Then we have the things we learned is our academic section and the people we knew um, are the people in middle school. And we have the people in intermediate school. So those sections are, are just written in a very specific way and that language is kind of mirrored throughout the book. Now you can divide your book up by sections like we did. Um, which is like a topical, or you can do it sectionally. So uh, one way is by calendar year, and one way is by, so we did ours by, by different um, groups. So year in review is like calendar section within the whole thing, but then we really had academic, sports, lifestyle, um, people pages. So that's kind of how we chose to break it up. Okay. Um, one more thing real quick is you just, let me show you a totally different look here. Um, here's the blueprint, which again, is a 100% different look. You can feel the serious tone from the beginning. Um, when you open it up, you're gonna see a blueprint of the school. We were doing a lot of construction that year, so it kind of mirrors what's happening in the school. Um, something I forgot to mention, you always want the theme to mirror something that's happening in the school that year. Um, so Raider Rewind was kind of coming out of COVID, but we wanted something ha happy and bright to, to remind them of this. Um, blueprint, you get the feel of the, these black and white pictures to start you off that kind of have, again, this very serious kind of look, and then you'll break into some color, okay? Uh, another example, maybe, this was during COVID, the show must go on, again, pertaining to what was happening around us, and everything kind of has a movie theme with the folio that repeats, the show must go on. This one was the year after COVID when we were all back in school, so all in, and we kind of talked about that throughout the book. Our folio this year was a ribbon that repeated kind of this gold line at the bottom and then this ribbon that went through some of our pages, okay? Um, there's our theme page, our section divider, and then we start in on the different pages here, but they all have the gold line that goes throughout it. Um, and you'll see that this line kind of weaves in and out, which makes it a little more interesting than just a standard gold ribbon. Okay, I hope that gives you a good place to start with coming up with an exciting theme. And I'll show you a little bit more about our process of brainstorming in the next video.